Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here. And uh, we had a question regarding the Refidium web driver uh, from Anamon saying, can you control several separate Chrome instances, um, you know, each within their own profile? Or, you know, would you have to, can you have that in the same script? Would those have to be in separate scripts? Kind of thinking through more like multi-threading type of, type of things. And yes. Isaiah brought up, it was a really good point, you know, we're, we're getting closer to getting to launch our classes course. Mm -hmm. And this is a perfect example of why classes are amazing. Yeah. Right. So why don't you go ahead and show us uh, how this could be done? Yeah. So let, let me first uh, answer the question. The answer is yes and no. <laughs> so it is most, it it was is a annoying. little complicated. It is yeah. annoying. No, it is annoying. Yeah. And the, but it's the, not a Rafidium thing, right? No, it's not a Rafidium thing. It's, it's actually, it has to do with the Chrome driver because the problem is, as of yet, I'm not really sure if that's something that has to be configured or something like that. But basically, whenever you try to run two instances or two profiles, using the same user data, the Chrome driver tells you, hey, that folder is already in use, so I cannot use it. Because the Chrome driver tries to write into that file, um, uh, into that folder. To clarify, because it sounded, I think it was a little confusing the way you described it. The Chrome profiles are both located on, under the same directory. Is that right? Let me, let me show yeah. exactly what is going on and yeah. what, what the point is. Yeah. So yes, it is doable. The only thing is that it requires you to do some workarounds. I and mean, that's where I say no, not really. So uh, when you go to Chrome, so if you go to your app data local Google Chrome folder, you have a folder called user data. And in this location, you have folders for each of your profiles. You have profile one. Um, if you have more of them, you will have other two, three, four and there's a default profile, okay? Now, in any case, I have two profiles set up on my computer. One of them is the default and the other one is profile one. And that's all. The problem is that the Chrome driver uses some files that are in here and tries to write to them because when you open Chrome, there are some files, some lock files that get created that if they're open, like Chrome knows that it is open. That's what is going on. So the Chrome driver, as soon as it finds that file, and it cannot write to it, it tells you, hey, I cannot use this folder anymore. The workaround is actually just creating a copy of the folder. I just dragged it like this and let it go and it would create a copy. In my case, it, it was a very big file, so it took a little while to do. Yeah. But basically you create a secondary copy of the folder. And now with one profile, you access one folder. And with the second profile, you access the second one. And then it works. But again, this is the code is not really complex. The way how the way how I do it is that I created some arrays for Chrome's, and and each in that array, each index is going to contain an object from Rufadium. So Chrome one, Chrome one is going to be an object from Rufadium, and Chrome two is going to be a second object, and they can do separate stuff. Like each of them can behave differently. And I just have them into this variable that each instance, each number would have its own Chrome. So that's what I'm doing there. And for the pages, I did the same because I want to have different pages. That's okay. So what I did is that I used a for loop and I just used an array with the name of the profiles that I want to do. So for each profile, the word profile is gonna have either default or profile one. So for number one, I'm going to create a new object. And for number one, I'm going to set the capabilities to that profile, to the profile that is number one. So that's what is going on. And then on the second loop, then this, the number two is going to have a different object and the, sub, the capabilities of it, the profile, I'm going to set it to the second index. That's what is going on. So it is doable. And then you can actually loop or perform multiple actions on both objects independently right. on your same script. You can do it. Right now, if I leave it like this, the first time it's gonna open just fine. The second time I'm gonna get an error about the folder being in use. That's the reason why the second parameter of set user profile here, the second parameter is for you to set the user data directory. And I would set it so that when a index equals two, when a index is two, I'm gonna set a different profile folder, which is gonna be this one here, it's gonna be the copy instead. So I just put that path over there. 
And as it's a ternary operator, I'm just going to go ahead and set it to blank on the second option. So the second option, if, it, if A index is one, I want it to be blank. If A index is two, I'm going to set up this path, which is not the same as the other one. As soon as you do that, it, of course, it, it might get a little bit more complex. So a switch might be better in this, mm -hmm. in this instance. If you have a switch, uh, would be a little bit cleaner uh, than a ternary operator or whatever. But now you can just go ahead and run the code. As you can tell here now, my, my first instance is opened. It went to that page. This is my default profile. Now a second instance has been opened and now it is navigating to the page and it is going ahead and doing whatever. So now I have two instances With and if I, profile. right. And this is the funny thing. If I use page one, it's going to be referring to this one and page two is going to be referring to that one. So basically yeah. uh, it, it makes it easier for me to go ahead and use different instances, different pages. And in my script, I can refer to them all at the same time if I want to. And you could easily, of course, now you'd have to have the other folders for each time you do this for a different profile, but you could have easily because you're using a class, do even more, right? You just have to have those other folders with the profile, you know. Content. Exactly. So basically, the the one workaround is that if you want to uh, use three profiles, you would have to copy the folder three times, right. so that each instance connects to a different folder and can actually type to it. That's the only part that I found like a little bit annoying, but that is not Rafadian's fault. That is actually the Chrome right. driver that has that limitation. Right. Awesome. Thanks, man. You're welcome.